what's up welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a bombshell curl tutorial on how i get my layers as well as the curls beginning to end wig install and we're getting into this beautiful blonde platinum blonde at that with highlights wig it's gorgeous literally so the wig is from ali pearl hair it's a 22 inch 18 slash 613 blonde highlight that is the color 13 by 4 lace wig 250 percent density big 250 okay medium cap size is the size that i got they do have cap sizes which i do like because a lot of people have you know either locks that they're putting wigs over nowadays or they just have a bigger head so i started off by slicking my edges back cleaning my skin with alcohol and putting my skin protectant on i'm using the bold hold skin protectant and i'm just using a cotton round to clean my skin and to apply that skin protectant this install is no different than any other i'm going to be getting straight into the install plain and simple and then go ahead and getting into the tutorial of this unit i did tint the lace with my makeup using my level 15 shade in the ruby kisses cream foundation and then i went in with my got to be spray just to set that in i decided to take the wig cap off and not even do a wig cap because i did not like the way that it was looking through the thing through the wig the lace i didn't like how i was able to see it so i just went ahead and took it off This hair is gorgeous, silky, beautiful texture, quality is top tier. I've worked with Ali Pearl before and I'm not disappointed. 250% density. I've been getting these thick wigs, ladies, and they are very, very nice. Like, I could never go back to a 180 or 150. What is that? <laughs> of course, I will continue to review them, but you know, like, preferably 250 and up, please, especially if you're doing curls or layers. They look a lot, lot better with the thicker wigs. Lace is good. Hair came pre-plucked. I didn't even do anything to this wig. You don't have to tone knots, bleach knots, none of that. This is a blonde wig. I literally didn't do anything. Just put it on my hip. I'm using my It's Sticky Glue. This is my favorite lace glue right now. I went ahead and bought the big bottle. And if you know, you know she's not cheap. So, yeah, if you haven't heard of this glue, definitely go check it out. It is one of my top two between this one and Wig Dealer. I really like it. I have oily skin and it works good for me. I recently watched a video with the owner of the Bold Hold Collection, and she has a YouTube channel. Definitely go check her channel out if you have not already seen it. She's very informative. I believe she is a licensed cosmetologist educator as well, not just a cosmetologist. And she, um, she shows a lot of useful information on there. She showed that you should actually spread your glue out with your finger. You want a very, very thin layer to help with your wig to stay down and the longevity of your unit as well as to help it not slide back and i've been trying to figure out ways to make sure that my wig is not sliding back and i only did one layer of this glue and went ahead and um started to lay the wig down We are going to be using a razor comb today to do these layers, guys. I decided to do my layers a little bit different than what I normally do. I wanted long, flowy layers. And so I hope this is going to be easy for you guys to understand. This is my first time doing it and my first time doing it on camera. So 
yeah we're gonna go ahead and explain this the best way i know how but it'll get better as we go along so what i did was i sectioned out the top part of the hair and i just pulled it to the front and i started to cut down with that razor comb right where i wanted my layers to stop at and then i went around the same section on both sides and parted out more hair and cut right down a little bit lower than the first section that i made every time you do a section of layers you don't want to cut where that first section stops in the front you want to go down just a little bit so everything's not sitting at the same spot in the front only do you have to worry about that so after i framed my face that's what we were doing i like to pull all of that hair up straight straight at the top of my head and i cut the hair right at the same exact spot that the first layer is going to stop at if you have hair falling out when you pull it up to the top leave it out it's too short to be in that section and you don't have to worry about it that is where your first layers are going to sit at i continue this same routine adding hair to the section that i just cut from the sides adding it to the middle any hair that falls out you leave it out and i just cut that hair even with the layer that was shown it's hard to kind of see because I don't have it in the video, but you'll see it at some point because I am going to um, pull this hair forward right here. So after I do two 90 degree angles, which is a straight up stretch, I'm going to pull it forward and I'm cutting the hair right where the other section stopped at to make the hair even. In all reality, it is not going to be even when you comb it down. It will sit in a layer type look. And I just repeat this same process across my whole head. I'm taking just big chunky sections and I'm parting around my head. Not just one spot, but around the whole part of my head. And I comb all the hair together. I comb it all forward, brush it all forward. And then I use my razor comb and I cut it in the same spot that I see the last layer stopped at. And that's it, literally. I just continue to repeat this until it looks how I want it to look. The top part is where your shortest layers are going to sit at. Everything else should be fairly long. So you're not really worried about if they're all sitting in the same spot. They're not going to all sit in the same spot. And you don't want them to because they are layers ultimately at the end of the day. So as far as the rest of it goes, I just like to go back in and touch up pretty much clean up. Cut more off if I want to cut more off. Cutting layers is really like based off of what you want it to look like. It's the same way as plucking. You want to go ahead and get an inspo picture and cut it how you want it to look. Yeah, layers are hard. I feel like you have to continue to practice them before you can really like start doing different techniques. This is a different technique that I decided to do, but you guys can check out some of my other videos if this one was too hard on the layers. There's easier ways to do this. I am using my T3 curling iron. This is my one inch curling iron. This one is a little bit smaller than my Babyliss and I like to use this one because I think the curls come out a lot more defined. And I'm using bigger sections. We're not doing skinny sections because we're not sitting here all day. <laughs> we're just not. And we're gonna curl everything under. And then I put my roller on. These are Velcro rollers so you do not need a clip to keep it in place. It's just gonna stick to the hair. I Curl everything under, take the roller and just curl the hair back onto the roller just like I did with the curling iron to hold the curl in place until they all cool off and then we will take them back out.
when you come around to the front of the wig and the top you are going to curl away from the face and so you know which parts to curl backwards and what parts to curl under it is very important for the volume and to have that big look the voluminous look it's very important on which directions you are going to be curling your curls When I take the rollers out, these will be very annoying, not gonna lie. They're gonna be really sticky to the hair. Just unravel it down. Don't worry about them, you know, like your curls messing up or anything, they won't mess up. Just unravel it down. Then you're gonna take your fingers and you're just gonna swirl it around your finger in whatever direction that you want the hair to sit. You're gonna do this for the whole entire head. To me, this just makes it so my curls are sitting. They're not just They'll, they'll look super fuzzy if you just pull them out the roller and you don't twist it. So I feel like this cleans it up just a little bit. Cutting the lace, very normal, nothing different here. I am going in with my makeup in the shade level 15, the same one that I used on my lace earlier. I'm really feeling like this shade is kind of too dark, but I'm having a hard time with the ruby kisses. It's like, it matches for a little bit. I feel like it's perfect, then I feel like it's not. I don't know, I am going to try out LA Pro. I said that in one of my other videos, but I'm for real. I'm really gonna try out LA Pro, hoping that they have other shade ranges. So I can get a perfect match to my skin tone because my skin tone with my makeup on and my makeup off is very different. That's really why I don't like doing wig and salts with my makeup on because once you take your makeup off, it's not going to match your skin anymore. So yeah, that's just a dilemma that I have. Let me know down in the comments below if that's something that is an issue for y'all too. I have a really hard skin tone to match up. I have a red undertone, but I like to wear warm makeup. So yeah, that sounds like a personal problem, but it's the truth, honest to God. So when I'm matching my wigs, it is so hard for me. 
but yeah so i wanted to go for that supernatural no baby hair look when you're doing a 613 blonde wig i just don't feel like edges look natural so i don't like to do them on those types of units for me personally i did go ahead and add some of that black even supreme lace bond spray to my lace and lay that down i use my elastic band like five six times y'all if you haven't been counting go ahead and count it's been like three times i put that thing back on they recently came out with this new double melt method. I, I mean, like, honestly, I've been doing it like for forever. That's how I've been doing all my installs. When I was watching one of the videos with the lady from Bold Hold, she actually said in her video that the skin protectant also is used as a non-shine agent. Like you can spray it on after you've dried your glue down and use the cold air on your hair dryer and it will remove some of the shine from the glue. Who knew? I'm trying to tell you, it is so important to like continue to educate yourself. I am not a licensed cosmetologist. I literally teach myself everything. I did go to cosmetology school at one point, but I did not finish. So that's why I know like some of the techniques and stuff, but I just be learning things. Like it is so necessary to continue to teach yourself stuff. I wanted this to be a very natural blow over easy look. So I didn't want the super flat install with the hot comb, you know, making everything super flat. I just didn't want to do that. So I made sure to hot comb everything back in the front, just so the hairline was cleaned up but I'm not hot combing apart. I'm not doing any of that. I want it to look very just big and flowy and like this is my real hair, no part, flip over method type ordeal. So yeah, this is pretty much going to be the full video. I don't think I'm doing too much more. So there's really nothing else to explain here. I'm just combing out my curls, you know, sitting them where I want them to sit at and doing a little bit of touch up work, adding extra glue where it's needed or hairspray. This is a tip right here for y'all. Um, if you have the edges of your wig where you feel like they're not completely laid down, you can take some of that even spray or whatever spray of your choice. You wanna use something strong, not like a spritz, but like an actual lace spray. And I spray it on a comb and I'm using the cold air on the hair dryer, and I'm just like spreading it down with the bottom of the comb, the metal part of the comb, I'm spreading it down with that. And that is what's going to get it nice and melted down for me. This is the final look. Hair is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I am in love with this wig. I love it so much more than I ever thought I would. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video so 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 much i absolutely love this hair like it's giving so bad i did not think that i was going to like this absolutely love it and the layers are to die for like this is how you put some layers this is how you cut they are just sitting so if you're not already subscribed i hope you subscribe for sure after this video we can add you to the fam and you can see when i drop my videos so yeah if you haven't and i'm still talking and you still haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video Bye.